Hello, so do you know how to work out such an amazing maths Olympiad question? So worry not, if you don't know how to work it out, I will take you step by step on how to work out this maths problem within the shortest time possible. So if you know how to work it out, please kindly comment your answers below. So let's now start with our solution. So on the solution to this maths problem, so we have 4 to the power of a minus 1 is equals to 80. So let me take you through the basic of this maths problem. Suppose we have a to the power of m minus n. So this one can also be written as a to the power of m all over a to the power of n. So using that, that formula, we can now be able to work it out by now having 4 to the power of a. So all over here now shall have 4 to the power of 1 is equals to 80. So let's now work, out, work it out. So 4 to the power of a is remains 4 to the power of a all over so 4 to the power of 1 shall be 4 is equals to 80 so now we shall have it as 80 now so we want to remove this 4 so now we shall multiply both sides by 4 then this side also we shall multiply by 4 so 4 by 4 shall cancel so now we shall remain with 4 to the power of a now 4 to the power of a is equals to 80 multiply by multiply by 4. So now, we, how do we still solve it? Uh, how do we st st still solve it? By, because we still have A here. So the best thing that we need to do, we need to, in to introduce the log from both sides. So now we shall have the log of 4 to the power of A is equals to the log of 80 multiplied by, multiplied by 4. So from here now, assuming that we have the log of P to the power of M, so this one can be worked out as m the log of the log of p. So meaning that the log of 4 to the power of a can be written as a the log of 4 is equals to the log of 80 multiplied by multiplied by by 4. Then the next thing that you shall do, you shall now divide both sides by by this log 4. So the here by now by log 4, then this side also shall have it by log 4. So now we shall say that. So now we shall cancel them out. Log 4 and log 4 shall be cancelled. So now we shall remain with A. So A is equals to the log of 80 multiplied by 4. Then all over the log of all over the log of 4. Now let me take you through an example. When we have the log A B, this one can also be written as the log of A plus the log of B. So now we shall now take our A now to be equals to the log of 80 plus the log of 4 all over the log of all over the log of 4. So from there now we shall divide both sides by the log of 4. So now our a is equals to the log of 80 all over the log of 4 in this case plus again the log of 4 all over the log of the log of 4. So here now we shall say that our a is equals to the log of 80 all over the log of 4 then plus so log 4 and log 4 shall cancel now we shall have 1 so let's now factorize log 80 all over the log of 4 so we shall say that a is equals to so this one can also be written as the log of 8 multiplied by multiplied by 10 then all over the log of 4 so all over the log of 4 then plus plus one there so here now we shall say that a is equals to so the log of, this one can be written as the log of eight plus the log of ten all over the log of four so all over the log of four here plus plus one so now we shall say that so next now we shall divide both sides by the log of four so our a is equals to so now we shall have the log of 8 all over the log of 4, then plus the log of 10 all over the log of 4, then plus plus 1. So log 8 can also be written as a is equals to, so log 8 can also be written as the log of 2 to the power of 3, then uh, all over, so log, log 4 can also be written as the log of 2, to the power of 2 then here now plus the log of 10 all over 
the log of the log of 4 is the log 2 to the power of 2 then plus plus 1 so let's now rewrite it by now saying that our value for a is equals to so this one now shall have 3 3 log 2 all over so this one now shall have 2 log 2 so 2 log 2 now plus so this one now shall have the log of 10 all over so this one now shall have 2 log 2 plus plus 1 so here now we shall say that our value for a is equals to so now this one is 3 over 2 because this one and this one shall cancel log 10 log 2 shall cancel then plus so this one now shall have a half log 10 all over the log of 2 plus plus 1 so now we shall now say that our a so a is equals to 3 over 2 plus plus 1 3 over 2 plus 1 plus a half the log of 10 all over the log of the log of 2 so there the next part now shall say that so when we say that a is equals to 3 over 2 plus 1 so that means plus 2 over 2 so we shall now say that a is equals to this one now shall be 5 over 2 plus a half the log of 10 all over the log of the log of 2 so when you have the log of a all over the log of b so this one now can be written as the log of this one can also be written as the log of a to the base of b so meaning that finally our answer shall be so our answer shall be now a a shall be 5 over 2 plus a half the log of 10 to the base of 2 so this one now shall be our correct answer for that particular maths problem so if you really loved how we worked it out please don't forget to subscribe to our channel